You need that difference maker lugging the rock. And play clock winding down here, and a timeout is called. Just their first of the half, so they'll talk this one over. Anderson on for the extra point. Extra point by Anderson, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Anderson now to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Chargers getting set to go. They had that lead, looked pretty comfortable in the first half, maybe got a little bit overconfident because that's gone now. Almost takes us back to being kids, doesn't it? Because I know at some point your dad did the exact same thing mine did. Okay. It's okay to be confident, son, but overconfident, <laughs> that's not a good thing. And that's maybe what we saw here. They thought they had this thing in hand, had full control, and guess what? They've got to find a way to get back to where they were before. You think Papa Davis and Papa Gordon would get along? I think they'd get along just fine. <laughs> and the Redskins do get to him. He goes down for a sack. Zach Brown, tough to handle on that blitz. He gets him for a loss of five. On second down, here's Jackson. Flush to his right. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Ryan Shazier in there to get him. And this pass rush strong now. That sacks on back-to-back -back plays. There's Jackson on third and long. And this is going to be incomplete. I would dare say that these guys will have liked to have given their defense a little bit more rest since they gave up a touchdown their last time out. But alas, my man, that's not going to happen. Yep, they're going to have to grab those helmets, get right back out there. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. Fielded at the 43. Slips past him. Where'd he go? A field flipper there, a 47-yard punt coupled with a loss on the return. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. The Redskins offense now, they get set to take over here. We've seen them do much better here after a struggling first half. And what I like about what I've seen is that they're executing at a much higher rate now. And I don't know how much of that is changing plays or changing philosophies as much as, okay, guys, let's just get it together and tune things up to a really nice degree. Yeah, sometimes it can just be a leader in the huddle saying, let's get this together, right? And so many times you've worked all week on certain things that if you're just going to throw it all out and kind of start over, you're not going to execute as well. Sometimes it's just, uh, just what you said. Okay. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. To throw, Vic. It's complete to Golden Tate. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. So the illegal forward pass also costs him a down, and now it's second and long. Finding room to the 20. Touchdown, Washington! Michael Vick, his second touchdown of the night, and the Redskins are going to add on to their lead. So a designed run all the way, and he took it the distance. I don't know that anybody saw that coming. Well, on this play, how about the vision of him, being able to see the open field, make his move, and get there. Oftentimes, defenses have a spy for the quarterback position to try and take care of it. On that play, if they did, it certainly He's didn't lost. work. lost. <laughs> yeah, there's no doubt. This is fielded a couple yards deep. 
And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. So out come the Chargers. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And all the way down to the 29. It's a big one there for the Chargers. 46 yards. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And his throw here is incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Jackson now on second and ten. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. On third down, Jackson. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. So now with a two-minute warning coming up fast, that puts a mammoth dent in their comeback hopes. I like how you phrased it. It's a dent because there's still opportunity. They've got to get the ball back on defense, obviously twice. But guess what? This thing is not close to being over. They need to go ahead and play it out. Not over. As you said, two-score game still. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. And they'll run it here. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards there as they move the chains. I know we're in the era of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space, but there's still a spot for power football. And we just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And, you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. On first and ten, here's Vic. Oh, he cannot get away. Down goes Vic. Javon Curse in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. From the gun, Vic. And that's incomplete. I know old school coaches used to just cringe when their quarterbacks weren't in the pocket throwing the ball. When they, whenever they were outside of it, you could just see them losing their mind on the sidelines. Nowadays, a lot of them like that. Defenses often get confused when the quarterback escapes. Coverages go, go haywire. But in this case, he didn't take advantage of it by getting set and making a nice throw. Yeah, and with that pressure coming, maybe he should have just gotten rid of it. Third and long for Vic. Ertz over the middle. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Boy, not deterred from those first two failed attempts. They're going to go a third time here on fourth down. Working out of the gun, Michael Vick. And that is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position.
Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Rolling to his left, and it's incomplete. What's the old adage, be quick but don't hurry? Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of, otherwise he was going to get sacked. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Again on second and 10, it's Jackson. Now a desperation, and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Brian Dawkins, the safety with a pick.